So, for example, Mobi is now being consolidated all into one package. It's called VO Mobile 5.0. It'll include all of your status, all of your materials, including dashboards, design studio dashboards, crystal reports, webby reports, and OLAP analysis as well. It's all going to be integrated into one, one single application. It will also include support for SAP Jam integration, Sybase 2.2 support, and also the ability to share your reports and your links to your reports in your repository via QR scoting, QR scaling, that you can simply take a picture with your cameras and go directly to that. It will also allow for barcode implementation to read into different values into your prompts and filters. And one of the other great things about this is that you design once at the repository level for both Apple, iPhone, and uh, Android devices, and you distribute it that way. In Webby, there's a number of different things. In the current version, not all chart types are supported. There are new chart types supported, including dual access charts and 100% status stack bars. Also, uh, linking support for bubble, waterfall, and horizontal bar charts. Custom scaling for your axes. Uh, certain different types of micro charts are now supported, as well as color customization, which is a must wanted feature in, 4 in the 4.1 version. Um, we're also going to do higher GMAP enhancements, as well as remembering certain uh, lists of values for OpenDoc, and also being able to the ability to show PDF versions as well, as well as certain styling changes to Webby tables. Explorer is now finding a new home in 5.0. Uh, you'll now be able to see information spaces and exploration views on your iPad or Android tablet. Uh, the iPhone, however, is only going to be showing information spaces until the next updates. Now, also in Explorer, the 4.1 Explorer in VI Mobile is going to be allow for you to use some of your enterprise and password profiles, as well as annotation and Steamwork integration that were uh, originally not available for Explorer, they're now available in B BI Mobile 5.0. Also, um, in Dashboard, more charts have been rendered to the HTML5 compliant standard, including wall wall waterfall charts and bubble plot charts. And also, uh, you can now add HTML chart data label for all the charts that you see here, everything from a line chart to a bubble plot. You can also do dynamic positioning within the device itself for labels, arts, and single values. Now, Design Studio, the support for mobile has been increased to iPhones, uh, where you can hide the toolbars. You can also enable launching OpenDoc URLs to other Webby documents or dashboard documents or crystal documents within Design Studio. You can also lock the orientation for apps so that you have more control over the user experience and as well as you'll be able to consume more items, including OLAP cubes. Now, Mobi also is shipped along with an SDK for a number of different things, for font customization with inside the mobile application, home screen customization, default connections. Um, it's also going to replace the Apple Map Viewer, which is present in the current iteration of the app, so that it will extend the, S the mapping capabilities. And also, you can do certain things to allow charts via the SDK as well. Now, this SDK, along with all the SDKs inside of the CMC BI Launchpad and Web Intelligence, are RESTful web apps. They're no longer the .NET version that are, cable, that are available in 4.0 and 3.1. This gives you a little bit more flexibility, as well as a little bit more compatibility across devices. Now, in Dashboard Designer, you can now also add JavaScript add-on components, which allow you to do more HTML5 rendering for mobile dashboards, uh, as well as for Dashboard Designer, which you would display in your web browser. 